$360 grocery haul. This is Carrie's Culinary Crafts where we talk all things food and Today I have a grocery haul for you. I'm so excited for this and for those of you have, who have been um, joining in on the 2023 Freezer Pantry Challenge, um, you guys might be getting your first grocery haul as well. Uh, today I got a, a Walmart delivery haul um and i'm looking at it and we all know that you know inflation is pretty crazy but uh i have my order totaled just for the for the groceries $362.76 and as you can see there there is my delivery and I'm gonna flip the camera around in a in a moment to give you to show you what all I got, but it certainly does not look like three hundred and sixty two dollars. It doesn't even look like two hundred and sixty two dollars. Um, however, it is what it is, and I am um, pleased to be able to get something. It is going to be very nice to have a. Uh, um, to get some fresh produce back into our bellies. That's the biggest thing that I've been uh, missing. So if you haven't followed through me through the challenge, I'll link, link an iCard up here for the challenge um, that went through all of January and February where I did not do any grocery shopping with the exception of dairy um, for milk and eggs etc. Okay, so let me get you flipped around here and I will show you what I got for this first grocery haul of 2023. Okay, so here we're going to start off with um, the produce first. Um, baby arugula and spinach to supplement along with what I'm getting into the in from my greenhouse. I got some matchstick carrots. Those are for our salads. I've got a big five pound bag of carrots here. This is for uh, fresh eating and cooking. I got a big package of American cheese. Got a package of Colby and Monterey Jack cheddar. These are um, just like the individually um, packaged cheeses. Got some fresh mozzarella and some little snack packs of fresh mozzarella. I got two um, celeries here. I got a big thing of string cheese and a big box of Monterey Jack and Colby individually packed cheeses. Everybody in the family loves cheese sticks. Um, usually like for snacks or lunches for me, I enjoy having like these beef sticks or any kind of like turkey sticks, whatever, and a, a cheese stick. So I like to have those. Um, I got two big blocks of mozzarella cheese. Uh, this was the only cheese that I actually got low on. I'm on my last um, last bag of mozzarella cheese that was in my uh, freezer. I still have plenty of cheddar cheese, uh, but mozzarella cheese, I was, I'm on my last one. So I got two replacements there. I got both the green and red cabbage. I should have thought about getting this prior to the pantry challenge because cabbage lasts a really long time in your refrigerator and it would have been nice to have some fresh cabbage later on in the in the challenge because it would have lasted uh, that two months but I didn't think about it prior to the challenge starting. 
Um, I did get a bag of fresh onions. I still have some frozen onions, but I am on my last bag of frozen onions. So I went ahead and ordered some fresh onions. Um, I got, what is this called? Romaine lettuce. <laughs> I got a bag of romaine lettuce. I got some lemons, cause I'm totally out of my lemons and limes. So I got lemons and limes. I got some cucumbers, avocados. I've got tons of parsley and basil. And then I have some oregano here. And this is gonna be, if you were watching throughout the challenge, you, about a week ago, I ran out of my fresh garlic herb butter. Um, I make that every summer when I have, when all of my herbs are fresh. I really despise having to buy fresh herbs when I grow them all myself, but it is March 1st and I am out of my herb butter. So this past year, I didn't quite make as much as I normally do because my herbs, my parsley did not do as well as it normally does. Um, Normally, I, I will do 50 pounds of garlic herb butter, and it'll last me through to the next summer. Um, but this past year, I only did 30 pounds because my parsley did not do well. And parsley is the biggest ingredient that is in the herb butter. Um, so I had to get some herbs, and I'm going to have to go to the, the Amish market where I get... Um, their homemade butter there and I get them in uh, like big blocks of butter uh, so you don't have to sit there and unwrap all the you know sticks of butter which I've done that in the past until I found that at the Amish store they have big five pound uh, blocks of butter so that makes it a lot easier all right back to the haul um, I got a few snacks uh, my granddaughter and my husband absolutely love goldfish so I replaced the two cartons of goldfish that we have went through and of course all I got six bags of tortilla chips uh, this was the biggest the biggest hurting for my husband whenever we were out of tortilla chips for the challenge um, that was that was his biggest blow was tortilla chips. Uh, back here I have some um, some energy drinks for my son who's in sports. Um, there's some monsters and a couple different ones. They were out of what I ordered, so they substituted these um, Zoa, I guess. But they're like zero sugar energy drinks. So I got those for my son. Um, I got a bag of diapers for my granddaughter. Um, I the only I still have plenty of. Um, you know what? Maybe a little closer. Maybe you can see a little better. Um, I still have plenty of frozen vegetables, but what I did run out of was broccoli, cauliflower, and avocado. Um, I like to keep these on hand for when I run out of fresh and can't in, haven't gotten to the store, or haven't had a delivery or anything. I like to keep a couple back stock in the freezer in case I need to make like guacamole or something like that. Um, Broccoli is a favorite in this house for everybody, including my granddaughter, with the exception of my husband. My husband absolutely despises broccoli, but everybody else loves broccoli. So broccoli is something I always do have to get. Um, now, when I make us broccoli, I will make my husband cauliflower because he won't eat broccoli. So, um, but we all like cauliflower as well. So I went ahead and got broccoli and cauliflower. 
Um, I got a gallon of milk just because I always get a gallon of milk whether I need it or not because my sons will go through it. Um, this wasn't something that I needed. In fact, I've never ever bought it before. But I saw that it was on like this sale, buy one, get one. And I thought, huh, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and try that. But it's like a original submarine dressing. So I'm guessing it's kind of like an Italian dressing, but I don't know. I just thought it seemed interesting. And since it was buy one, get one, I just went ahead and got one. But I, I've never tried it before. But so we'll see how it is. I did get some lunch meat. They didn't have all that I wanted. I do love to get uh, sandwich pepperoni and salami is my husband's favorite. They had the salami, but they didn't have the sandwich pepperoni, which is, I mean, okay. I, I have like already pre-cut pepperoni, plus I have pepperoni here, but I do like the big sandwich pepperoni for sandwiches. And I got a pound of ham off the bone. Uh, this is a, I used up all of my lemon juice that I had in the fridge. Now, I still do have another bottle of real lemon, which I wanna use to get through that. But something that I never noticed, and maybe some of you guys never noticed either, but did you ever notice that there are a bunch of added ingredients in those green lemon jars? I never even thought the look. I'm like, it says 100% lemon juice. You're just assuming that it is lemon juice and that's not all it is. It's lemon juice from concentrate, which okay, is fine. But then there's several other things added after it. This is the only one that I found that is 100% juice and nothing else added to it. I mean, it's not juice from concentrate, it is actual juice. Can you see that? Organic lemon juice, that is the only ingredient in it. So while this is expensive, well, more expensive than the other stuff, um, I hear that it's really, really good. Now, if I don't have fresh lemons to squeeze and stuff, which I, uh, I usually have lemons, but if I don't, I want a good lemon juice to use. I don't want all those added other things in it. So I went ahead and got this Santa Cruz organic lemon juice. Or I got this big 10 pound roll it was at Walmart for $2.78 a pound, which is a pretty good deal. So I went ahead and got it. I prefer grass-fed organic meat, but I have a lot of, um, you know, freezer meal plans like my Salisbury steaks, etc., that I'm going to be making for the freezer meal. So I went ahead and got a big 10 pound roll of ground beef. And I got some buns um, just so I can give myself a break from making buns uh, once in a while. And I also got some slider rolls, although these aren't the ones that I ordered. I wanted the Hawaiian uh, slider rolls, but these are just regular soft white, which I'll still use them, but they weren't exactly what I wanted. But I use those to make sliders. And the last and final thing that I got was I realized that my husband has gone through lots of peanut butter. So we were on our last peanut butter from the pantry. So I went ahead and restocked peanut butter. And I usually, when I'm restocking, I buy things like six at a time. However, they were out apparently out of uh, two more of the big ones, so they substituted four little ones. So, okay. Um, but that is it, folks. I don't know, what do you guys think? Does that look like $362 to you guys? It certainly doesn't to me. 
I mean, the peanut butter is very expensive. I think like these big ones were over $8. So this was, was an expense. Um, so I had like $50 just in peanut butter. And then this of course was, I think it was $27. So that was a big ticket item, but still like everything else, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it should be that much, but it is what it is. You know, they got us, right? They know we have to eat. So what choice do we have, right? Okay. So that is my haul. Oh, wait, did I mention onions? I did get some green onions too. Okay, so there is my first grocery haul for 2023. I am glad to get that in. Um, I'm anxious to have a salad again. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do some, I'm going to put a lot of this stuff away and I'm going to do some veggie prep. So I will bring you along with me uh, for the veggie prep. And once I get everything into the refrigerator, it'll be nice to get all my bins back in there and get my fridge full again. So I will um, bring you along for the prep and I will show you uh, my stocked fridge when I am done. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I have a lot of kitchen stuff going on. So, you know, I figured I would just go ahead and turn on the camera. I'm going to get to um, prepping all of the veggies and stuff from the grocery haul, but I need to get some stuff out of my refrigerator before I can restock that back up again. So I figured I would just bring you along with me since I'm doing like a whole bunch of kitchen things. Um, first thing that I wanted to show you, I pulled out one of these real lemons um and i wanted to show you the difference this is the new one that i bought and there's the ingredients just says organic lemon juice and i wanted to show you those ingredients there's quite a bit more than just lemon juice in there. So, I mean, if that doesn't bother you, then that's fine. And I'm going to use this. I'm, I'm certainly not gonna waste it. I'm not gonna get rid of it or anything. I am gonna use this first, but I just wanted to let you guys know because I just found out that there was, I just assumed, I didn't even really think about it. I, I read it says real lemon, 100% lemon juice. I never went further than that. And then down here in the small print, it says from concentrate with other added ingredients. Never paid attention to that before. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one first and then I will put this one in my pan. So, okay, so I have the rest of these leg quarters here that I wanna go ahead and cook. And I did, I've already cooked uh, five pounds of leg quarters here. So I am going to remove these. And I'm gonna add all of the others. Whew, hot, hot, hot. There is juice in there. I am going to return this bone that came apart. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of these chicken quarters. 
and they are still partially frozen, but that's okay. You can stick them in the Instant Pot partially frozen. See those nice big chicken quarters? this stuff done before gardening season starts because you know once gardening season starts then we're going to be prepping all of that stuff. so anything that I need done in the colder months I try to get done okay so we got another full instant pot of chicken quarters I don't need to add any water because there's plenty of broth already in there from this first batch. So I'm going to go ahead and add my lid, put it to seal, and I'm going to hit pressure cook, and I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it at 35 minutes because of the fact that the those. Um, those chicken quarters are still partially frozen. So normally you do 25 minutes, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do 35 minutes since they're partially frozen. And when you set something in the Instant Pot, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to get to it right away because once it's done pressure cooking, it automatically turns on to warm and it will come down to pressure. So you don't, you know, you don't need to worry about it right away. So I might not get to the uh, this until this afternoon. It's still early morning. So I got my grocery delivery at eight o'clock this morning. So I have all day to get to it. So I'm not really concerned about it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let that go. I need my parsley and my parsed herbs. I am going to cut fresh bottoms on them and stick them in some water. I need to um, get to the Amish store and uh, get my butter before I can do that. So I don't know if I'm going to do that today or if I'm not going to get to that till tomorrow. So with this, with the, the parsley being in some water, it'll keep it nice and fresh. There's one. Oh, it smells good. Can't reach up the top shelf. our parsley. Oh, and I have 
have some onions here too. So I'm going to stick the green onions in there as well. summertime pretty much the both of these are used for onions and uh, garlic but in the winter months I obviously don't have a whole bunch of fresh produce from my garden so and I try to limit what I buy from the store there's onions Okay, now, I actually don't have as much as I thought I did. So I was gonna clean out my sink and just put all the produce in there, but you know what, I think, use my big bowl here will make it a little bit easier uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my produce and how I do that is I fill up the big bowl with cold water and I add some white vinegar I will leave this out in case I need to switch out the water but I don't have as much as I in my head I was thinking I had so I think we'll be okay but I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up now I do this I prefer to get organic um, vegetables, but whether I get organic or not, I, uh, I wash my produce. I don't want any pesticides. I don't want anything unnecessary on my veggies. And also, you know, there could be dirt and bugs. I mean, you know, things come from the ground and stuff, especially like when you go to the farmer's market. I love going to the farmer's market um, because they're local farmers and I know, um, I know their farming practices, but you still need to wash that because, you know, outside garden is in uh, critter territory. So there could be critters and there's gonna be lots of dirt. So, I definitely always wash my produce, whether it's fruits, veggies, I wash everything that I can. And I will let that sit um, for about five minutes in that vinegar water before I take it out and then put the next batch in. And I will bring you back then. Okay, it has been five minutes or maybe even longer. So I'm just going to pull these out and stick in this over the sink strainer I have here so it can drain off most of the water. Okay. 
Okay, and that water still is pretty nice and clean, so. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my lines. And my lemons. Lemons and limes, I use the zest of those, so I wanna make sure that that, um, that outer peel is nice and clean. Do you guys like to drink lemon water? I do, I love lemon water. Wait till um, summer when other, when my herbs are in, like all of my mint and, I like to put like all kinds of, uh, make all different kinds of water infusions, like with cucumber and mint and lemon or lime or all of the above, sometimes berries. Good stuff, good stuff. Tis the season to start breaking out my two favorite containers. I have these um, Sistema, the lock and lock. Whoops, uh, containers, these come out. So you can have one big container or you can have a divided container. And I have two of these. And what I love to do with these in the spring and summertime with uh, veggies and fruit is uh, cut them up and clean them and put them in here. So that way it's just grab and go. I like to set these out on the um, the table in the summertime, so anytime somebody is going through, you know, the kitchen, they can grab some nice, healthy uh, vegetables and fruit. Spring, summer, fall, my favorite time of year for fresh harvest. Okay. Now... Um, I put those, all those chicken leg quarters in the Instant Pot, so you know what that means. That means I'm going to be making, um, stock. So, all of these veggies that I am doing, let me get that big bag. So all of the veggie scraps that I'm going to be cutting are going to go into this bag so I can add them. Now I do have lots of celery here uh, because this is my husband's um, favorite snack. My husband works from home like I do, so, um, and what he likes to have for lunch or a snack is to have celery and peanut butter. So I always have to have a big stock of celery on hand. And what I grow never is enough for I mean, I can, I can grow it, we eat it fresh, and then I, um, or frozen celery to last me through to the next summer, but I never can have enough of fresh celery uh, with the amount of celery that my family eats. It just doesn't happen. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these into smaller celery sticks. Now, celery leaves are wonderful in salads. 
if uh, some of you haven't noticed that. I do, I always use them, whether I cut them up, put them in salads, um, or I use put them in the bag and use them with stock, or if I need them, I will go ahead and dehydrate them, and I will have some celery flakes, um, and you can also do uh, celery powder after you dehydrate them. So I have many options to do with these. And I have plenty of celery powder and plenty of celery flakes. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick them in my bag here because I'm going to be making stock in the next day or two with all of the uh, bones that I have from cooking my chicken quarters. Now, th um, these celery stocks, the ones that are the whole celery, that's what I prefer to get because you get the, the leaves and you get the ends that you use for stock. Cucumbers are mine and my granddaughter's favorite veggie to munch on. My granddaughter could have a whole plate of veggies, of uh, cucumbers in front of her. And she will just sit and eat and eat and eat. And when they are gone, she wants more. She absolutely loves cucumbers, as do I. Cucumbers is something that I always have in stock, especially in spring, summer, fall months. I will um, plant several batches of cucumbers. When they're done with the first load, I will replant a second load and a third load if we have time for it. Depends on how the season goes. We always have time for two plantings, but uh, sometimes you never know. We have a mild fall. We might get that third, third batch in, but it doesn't always happen. Sounds like my husband's coming down. Coming down for celery. Back to feed. But I have to tell you stuff, so. Okay. That's why I came all the way down here. Okay. All oh, those taco chips. <laughs> I knew you'd be excited for the taco chips.
I totally forgot to get some Coke Zero. I'm sorry. These are fancy. I will get some Coke Zero. Pay me and ask for some energy drinks. This one's fruit punch. Yeah, there's a pickle punch, not fruit punch. Gross. Yeah, there's a few. There's a, I think a cherry limeade, which is one of his favorites. Strawberry watermelon and tropical punch. Yeah. Oh, he's. There's, oh, there's a cherry limeade too. So if he's yeah. lucky, I don't drink any of those. These are just a standard. Those will be fine. Saturday. Can you come out here so I can do stuff while you're talking? Yeah, I only got a minute. I got oh, okay. So. Well, then speed it up then. Saturday, I need to get wings. Okay. So maybe I might text you and say we're almost done and you could maybe order wings and I can pick them up. I have to take wings to Bradenville. Like Matt's getting pizza, I'm getting wings. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. Bradenville's an old men club. Like, there's no... You know, like their idea of food is just a popcorn machine in the corner. <laughs> okay, well, couldn't I have them delivered to Bradenville, or you want me to have them delivered here and you take them? I, I just, just think I'd just take them with me. Okay. Um, um, and I will need cash Saturday, because okay. Bradenville does not do anything but cash. I have cash for you. <laughs> Sorry. And I got lots of celery. Mm-hmm. Celery. Celery. This is your today celery. I was gonna go ahead. Is that enough? Yeah, that one. Do you want more? Okay. okay. All right. So, anything else? Nope. Uh, just that uh, we'll need to make wing arrangements. And that's Saturday, before you go to Bradenville, uh, when does the tryout start? 1.30 to 5. We're, we got to be there at 1. You've got to be there at 1. one so 1 to 5. Okay. Oh, you're giving me this now? Okay. You don't have to take it, but... Well, otherwise I'd be having to walk downstairs in 10 minutes. You want peanut butter? Yep. Got my dish. Got my fancy dish. You didn't tell me you were down to your last peanut butter. Good thing I ordered. I know, I hear peanut butter is expensive now. Yes. Eighty bucks. I know. Crazy. Somebody sent, I think Anna sent an article on the Sriracha. Yeah. What about it not being in the U.S.? Oh, it's like a whole big, uh, I forget what you said. I was going to say, didn't I, I told you all this, that's why I ordered it. No, no, I'm, I'm asking, like, oh. you told me why. Um... Basically, yeah, there's like lawsuits and everything. Yep. Remember Sriracha not paying the farmers? Yep. So corporate greed is why we're all deprived of Sriracha. Everything is corporate greed. Not me, honey. I work for boobs and butt. <laughs> we got taco chips. Boobs and butts, baby. And celery. Welcome. Yeah, I saw that. It's all right. It was the one that just ripped open when I was putting them away. See, told you he'd be down for celery. And you'd be excited about those chips. Now these that are left over here, I am not going to cut up. I'm just going to leave whole and put in this container. Since I have a whole bunch cut up in here and here, 
I'm just going to use those first. They will last longer if you leave them whole. But I know that we will get through those within a few days. So it won't be that big of a deal. Okay, can you see how dirty that water is? That romaine was really, really dirty. Okay, let's get that out of the way. lettuce before I put it on the towel. Everything's made for right-handed people. I adapt. Okay, let's see. For those of you that wonder whether lettuce spinners work, they definitely work. I like to put lettuce in my produce keeper. Um, it lasts a really, really long time. It has all these uh, fruits and veggies on it, and it tells you, you know, which one. This is a slide on how much uh, humidity needs to be in there. So you just look at what vegetable that you are putting in there in order to know where to put this on. But this will keep, this is how my lettuce was able to last five weeks because I had it washed, prepped, and I had it in one of these keepers. It lasts a very long time.
Roman. It's half. Okay, there is that. I am going to leave this one alone because this lasts a while if you don't touch it. So I'm going to leave this alone and then as I use it, I will just rinse it off. I mean, it's organic and it says that it's washed ready to eat, but I still will rinse it off before we eat it. But Okay, I'm going to get some of this stuff put away and I'll bring you back for the refrigerator final pick. Okay, friends, I'm going to go ahead and show you my refrigerator uh, right now. The only thing that I haven't put in is that big log of ground beef that I got, but I'll put that in um, before I close the doors. But I wanted to go ahead and show you um, with the stuff that I had got uh, after I put it away, I realized there's a few things that I'm missing, but that's okay because I can get them when I need them. But here is the refrigerator after everything has been put away. Uh, this is leftovers here and some leftovers there. And behind there is where all the cut veggies, so everybody always knows that they're in here if they want them. And here are carrots. Here is the meat that I will be using this week. Um, lemons everything yeah there's a there's a few things that I'm missing but that's okay I'll go get them with the next with the next shopping delivery and then I'm going to put this in the fridge here because this is going to be used for when I make the Salisbury steaks so let me see oops I will put this here because I will be using that soon. And there you have it. There is my first grocery haul of 2023. So I'm going to close out the video here because it was getting really long. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're as excited as I am to have fresh stuff to start cooking with. So, did you like this video? If you did, hit the thumbs up. Really helps my channel, helps push my video out to other people. Bye, friends.